Good morning, uh, folks. Um, I like to come back on the whole uh, uh, Kortweg Galton board uh, or grid idea, and I want to deepen this out uh, because it, uh, there is more to it than than I showed you in the first movie about the Galton board or the Kortweg Galton board. And why do I name it Kortweg Galton board? I mean uh, uh, Francis Galton in in uh, in in the late 1800s and the beginning of uh, 1900s he ca came up with this uh, this uh, galton board idea and uh, but but galton uh, he did not give god the credit of his finding i mean in my opinion i am a i'm a messianic uh, zionistic creationistic uh, uh, type of uh, messianic uh, christian and um yeah, I think that God should get the glory for, for, for these kind of findings in science. And I know that uh, uh, secular science is not willing to give God, Jesus Christ, the honor of giving us, us this knowledge. And <clears throat> that's why I call it Kortweg, which is my, uh, my family name, Kortweg Galton Board, in order to give God the glory. And that everybody knows that if I'm speaking about the Kortweg Galton board, or it is mentioned in science, that that actually you're honoring God. I mean, I think I think that He should get the glory for it. Not that I'm so uh, uh, lusted for for honor and glory. No, I want to pass that glory on to God because He gave me that knowledge. And I want to 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 uh, uh, thank God, Jesus Christ, for this kind of knowledge. That's why I call it a Kortweg Galton board. To uh, pass the glory uh, or the 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 the, the, the um, recognition uh, possible recognition for it on to God because I ca uh, I got this information and uh, He gave me this 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 intelligence and and uh, the the everything that is, is associated with this kind of knowledge. Uh, that's why I called a Kortweg Galton board, not for my own honor but for God's glory and honor. Uh, okay, um, let's, uh, uh, let's go on to, to the, the, the real thing, the, 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 where it's all about. And for that I show you, uh, I draw, drew some paper, uh, things on paper, and i like to uh, share that with you. Um, okay, yeah, yeah well, let's do it. I, I put my finger on the camera for a moment because I like to keep uh, the private area private, and uh, I'll be back with you in a second. Yeah, here we are. Okay, this is the original. It, it's in a drawing, as you can see, but it's the original uh, uh, concept of uh, uh, Francis Galton. This, this is called the original Galton board, and I call it actually original Galton board or a linear uh, Galton board, because uh, what you see here is that uh, the grid is kind of linear. It's it's all striped and. Uh, and what you get indeed is a nice Gaussian type of curve. Uh, Gaussian. Um, basically, what you also see is, as and and I, I'll come back on this, is that uh, what you actually have here is a, a point source from which the the spheres or the the, the 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 they are moving from this point source, which is a limited space in which the the spheres, the the the, the balls, the spheres are, are dropped, uh, so to say, and they end up in here uh, some tubes where they uh, are collected and etc. 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 Well, you know the whole process. You can find this all uh, on, on on YouTube as well, uh, where they show you how how this functions. But what you actually have here is a point source. Of some kind of uh, a particle, some kind of uh, 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 a signal, you know, some kind of some some kind of is uh, something w which ends up in in this uh, this distribution, this Gaussian distribution. Next to that, you have a dist distortion grid, some kind of grid, some kind of medium grid or medium in which this uh, uh, this signal is. Uh, which is actually a measure, uh, a, a measuring result, a measurement, and that's what you find back. This is wh what we find in, in general if we do measurements. So th this is actually what we see in reality, and uh, 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 so the, the Gaussian curve or a skewed Gaussian curve we will we will see in reality. Well, this whole thing, this whole concept, made me think 
So, okay, <clears throat> but how about uh, if you indeed find a skewed uh, Gaussian curve? And that's where I came about with the kortweg galton board. That's where the original idea came from. Well, what happens if my distortion grid uh, 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 distortion medium is not uh, neatly linear, just as here, here it's linear, but here it's not linear. Here uh, I uh, added, here you can see the points, and here the, this is unity, the, this part is unit, unity, uh, but here I multiplied it by a certain factor. In, in the case that, that, that I made that board that you saw uh, on the, in the other movie, it is uh, uh, times 1.33333. And so on. Yeah, you got uh, again the point source here, and uh, but the grid is a little bit different. And um, the grid in my board is is uh, this is uh, uh, this this distance is this is unity. So I can draw squares uh, about it uh, uh, with it. But here it's not unity. It's it's 1.333 times bigger. And this distance is even uh, uh, 1.33333 in squared. So 1.333 times 1.333, and so on. You could you could do it endlessly. You can can put the point here in uh, 1.33 to the power of three. So the distance increases, and here on the other side you decrease it by dividing it. Uh, so one divided by 1.33333. So and and uh, if you go more that side, you divide it by uh, uh, 1.333 again. So one point. 333 three, three squared. So um, you get a total different type of grid if you do that. But and what is the signal of that? So again, you have here the, the point source, point source, and here the distortion grid, distortion grid or medium. And here the measured signal, which in this case, it turns out to be that I was right. Uh, um, uh, this kind of grid with uh, multiplying uh, to that side by 1.333 and dividing by 1.333 to that side, indeed causes a skewed, uh, skewed Gaussian curve. Curve. Uh, so I was correct in my, my assumption that if you change the grid, then you get a total different uh, 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 measurement, measure, uh, measure, measure, and result. <coughs> and uh, um, so if I apply a different distortion, then I get a totally different measurement. Now, um, I, I, in the last couple of weeks, I've been uh, uh, thinking this uh, issue over, and I came up with several types of distortion grids which you can apply. And this is called the, the, the yeah, the Galton board uh, the, the, uh, uh, that I showed you in the movie, uh, the previous movie in which I used pepper, uh, pepper grains to pass it on uh, uh, in, in this, this uh, what is it? let me put it here. Yeah, that, that's this one. Uh, I, I applied here. Uh, um, I made it actually, and it's, it's not neatly made. I'm not such a. If I have more time, I can could construct it better, and if I have more material and finances to do so, I could make it a better one. But for the for starters, this is not not too bad, and the result indeed was a distorted uh, Gaussian curve. It, it was something like this, and the numbers I gave you uh, in the previous movie underneath uh, in the information that this one indeed gives a distorted uh, 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 or a skewed uh, skewed Gaussian curve. Okay, back to this. I'll put it back. Um, but you can you can extend this idea to, to, to other things and I drew some other uh, uh, distortion boards which you can use or distortion grids which you can use and from which I don't know yet uh, which result it will deliver. For example, a circular kortweg galton grid or uh, board. I mean, you can also make a, a circular distortion a grid. A circular distortion grid or medium. Okay, 
So you can you can you could do that and see what 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 kind of uh, uh, signal will end up here. I don't know yet. I will try to find it out in the next couple of days. Um, FK, let me see this. Yes, this, uh, this is what I have. But you can also put a, a, a random uh, uh, a random Kotwek Galton grid uh, in, into action, so that the distribution of pins are just random. Just a uh, 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 randomly distributed, and let's uh, and to see, to see what kind of signal you get over here. I don't know yet, but I'm plan to find out. Uh, so this is also a random Kortweg Galton grid. <coughs> what you also can do is, for example, the spiral of Ulam or the uh, uh, prime number spiral. Kortweg Galton board or Galton grid. What uh, what a Ulam spiral is is that you take a, a spiral. You start here with uh, this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five, this is six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, and on the, the points where it, it, there is a, a prime number, which is a, a 2, 3, 5, 7, uh, 11, uh, 13, 17, uh, 18, 19, etc., you put a pin. Yeah, so you got a, a distortion by uh, the spiral of Ulam, and let's see what happens the, in that case. Uh, what kind of signal do you get over there? <clears throat> so you can use all kinds of distortion grids, in this case the Ulam or the spiral of Ulam or the, spi the prime number spiral. You can put um, it into the grid and see what kind of, uh, uh, um, what kind of signal it, uh, measurement signal it will give off. Uh, that's the random. Now, in general, uh, the, what the Kortweg Galton uh, uh, distortions uh, are about, or the the Kortweg Galton uh, grids are about, or boards, and that that's that makes it interesting. Is that uh, the basic concept is that you have some kind of uh, point source of uh, some kind of uh, 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 yeah whatever comes out of it. It, it can be any, it can be it can be light, it can be particles, it can be uh, whatever uh, measurements of of uh, thicknesses of of some some kind of things. You get a point source. Next to that, you got a, a distortion medium, a grid, a medium or grid, and of course you have the measuring uh, the measuring device, which is this measuring device, measuring device, and and then that translates into a signal. And uh, so you, you expect some kind of signal, and, and uh, the majority of measurements are, are uh, uh, mostly uh, or a Weibull, or a, 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 a skewed Gaussian, or a log normal distribution uh, of, of, of uh, what, whatever you put in, uh, in this case uh, the, the point source. But the distortion or medium or the distortion grid determines uh, in the end how the signal, how the measured signal will look like. Now you can do that in this way that that you you, you look at it from from the point source uh, point of view directly to to the measured signal, but you can also reason back, try to reason back for okay, this is the signal. What was my original distortion medium? And uh, um, so it actually what you get here is a way of doing of. Uh, 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 finding out how this signal is came to be and to find out what the distortion medium could have been uh, uh, because the signal that you receive tells us something about the distortion medium and the thing is what is you can also reason back so so uh, uh, this is the signal this is the measuring device which measure which are closely related this measures this signal but what causes the distortion how does that pattern look like how does the point source get distributed in such a way by a, 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 a distortion medium in such a way that it delivers this kind of signal so it tells us also about what is happening in this phase which is very important well uh, uh, francis galton found out what we uh, previously saw that uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, measurements behave in a gaussian way well a gauss uh, 
uh, found this curve out, or, or uh, whoever uh, invented it, I think it was Gauss, he invented out that it, it's a bell-shaped uh, curve, and but the, apparently it tells us something about this part, and this is the part, the grid is the part where we are interested in. What medium is causing this kind of signal? And that's the whole idea which, which I want to point across, that you could also uh, take this whole idea of the Galton board uh, and reason, try to reason back to find out what the, sig the original uh, uh, signal is and the original uh, or, and the distorting medium. What kind of influence is, uh, does the medium have and how does it look like? Well, and that's, that's, that's well, it could be uh, very interesting in, in, in um, recognizing patterns in, um, uh, in, in signals that we receive. One moment. I'll come back to you. Come back again. So, well, this is, uh, I think this is mathematically spoken, but also uh, uh, technically spoken, a very interesting uh, uh, um, thing of uh, uh, thinking, because, uh, um, uh, um, one moment, because it, it, it can tell us, if we learn, if we deepen this knowledge out, you can say, okay, this is my measuring uh, signal that I get, and uh, uh, I can reason and calculate back to the distortion medium from hey what is causing the, the, this, this this kind of distortion so that so that I get this kind of signal and uh, uh, what is the point source uh, where is the point source and how does the point source look like and that's actually a, a very interesting uh, science to to dig it out more deeply and this is just the start of it. Um, and I thought to, it is important to share. Uh, that's why I call it the, the uh, Kortweg Gaussian, uh, uh, Kortweg Galton uh, uh, grids or Kortweg Galton uh, boards, because God gave me this knowledge and this insight uh, to put it across uh, to you uh, in, into this world uh, and to do something useful with it, if possible. Um, and I want to give God the, the, the honor and the glory for it, and, and uh, uh, that's why I call it a Kortweg Galton uh, uh, board, a Kortweg Galton grid. And not for my honor, but for the honor of, uh, and glory of God, Jesus Christ, uh, because I think that he, he gave me this knowledge and I want to pass it on. Uh, uh, God passed it on to, to, the, to humanity via me in this case. And I wanted to give God the, the honor and glory for it. Um, well, thanks for watching. Um, well, I, I try to experiment with it. Uh, I, I may write a paper about this, uh, by the way. Um, okay, thanks for watching. See you next time. And um, enjoy. Hasta la basta. Bye bye. Let's put it off. Uh, one.